Hello, and a very happy Christmas to everyone. As you notice, the crib replaces the Advent wreath because Christmas has <coughs> come. The time of preparation is over. Jesus was born in a stable where animals were housed in winter and he was wrapped in swaddling clothes and placed in a manger which is, was a feeding trough for animals. The reason why Jesus was born in a stable was because Mary and Joseph were turned away from the nearby inn which was full of guests on that particular night because hordes of people were in town for the census. We should really thank God that we have a nice bed to sleep in every night where we can feel warm and safe. Many children worldwide don't have this luxury. But you don't find Joseph or Mary complaining when they saw the no vacancy sign in the window of the inn. They were so thankful that Jesus was safe even if he had to make do with an outbuilding. The door of the inn may have been closed to Mary and Joseph, but thanks to Jesus, the door of heaven is open for all of us. The door is never closed to anyone who tries to be good, and I'm sure all of you are very, very good. Strange as it may seem, I think God wanted his son Jesus to be born in a stable where there was no proper amenities. The only heat in the stable, for instance, was the body heat from the animals, which would have helped to keep Jesus warm. The swaddling clothes would keep Jesus very cosy as well. Getting lots of presents from those who love us at Christmas is great, but it's not the whole story. The people in the stable at Bethlehem love and care for each other, and when we are with people who love and care for us, we are really happy too. Look at the people in the crib tonight. Mary loves Joseph and Joseph loves Mary and both of them love Jesus. The shepherds too were really happy when the angels appeared to them in the middle of the night and told them to go to Bethlehem where the newborn baby was. A lot of people didn't like the shepherds because they lived like nomads. And a bit rough. People would steer clear of them. But when the angels appeared to them, they must have felt ten foot tall. They, of all people, were the first in the queue to hear of Jesus' birth. The shepherds felt at home in the stable with Mary and Joseph. And it didn't matter what kind of clothes they were wearing or how rough they looked. I'm sure there's a lesson there for all of us. They say we should never judge a book by its cover. In the same way, we should never judge a person by the way they look, the clothes they wear, or how they speak. Christmas is about God's love for us and our love for God and one another. We pray that the Holy Spirit fill our hearts with love and peace this Christmas. On this holy night, we echo the prayer of the angels. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to men and women of good will. Now, thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all. Oh.